Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. I really felt that it's important to uh, catch up with people on my channel uh, following what's happened. As I know, my last clip uh, was a huge, and still is, a huge shock to me. Um, I was very, very upset and still am. Um, but I wanted to really, uh, in, in the process of me putting up that last clip, I have received some amazing comments on my channel. Not actually, um, that was before, just before that clip went out. And it really hit home to me that just actually um, by being yourself uh, and being truthful and honest and just being a person and uploading clips which are important to you and helping people. And when I say you, I mean things which are important to myself and helping people and really kind of helping that kind of motivation that we get one life, that's that's embrace it, that's cherish it, that's love it, and that's love every second of life. And if we come across something difficult in life, to reach out and, and grab the support of others and really um, find that strength and that guidance within to be able to push forward and that these storms do pass. Um, and of course, that you'll, you'll know from my last clip that this is a very different storm, which I never thought that I would, I would, um, I would go, I'd go through. Um, I've been very, very blessed in my life to have um, two incredible uh, animal family members, um, I'm going to say. Uh, when I lost my Alaska Malamalt uh, back in 2020, I never thought that... Um, there would ever be an animal again in my heart which would affect me in the same way and mean so much to me. And you know what, in a roundabout, the time where Andy came into my life, which is the beautiful, beautiful cat which you see on the last clip, and I may see if I can put a picture of him somewhere again on this clip as well, but the time when Andy found me, because he was always an outdoors cat, he would have been so bored indoors um, and many times they contemplated uh, trying to change his life but Andy didn't really take to change particularly very well and he was an outdoors cat so we quickly adjusted that and when he chose us and that bond grew and that love very very quickly developed um, as our family member uh, we had him a outdoor home uh, built my father built him a house and um, I bought I bought him I bought him like a waterproof uh, sort of outdoor um, cat house, I suppose you'd call it. Um, and they fitted within each other and, and he had his own space and we have fluffy rugs and um, and a bed and everything in there for him. And quite often after he'd have his breakfast in the morning. And this was, do you know what, Andy was such a stickler for routine and he would have breakfast for around five. My mum's usually up, and well, I live in the family home, and um, I'd start work for sometimes just before six o'clock, um, and Andy would be chomping away and having his food out, outside, and, uh, and, and that was his routine, and, um, and he'd have, to be honest, food when he wanted, and I'm quite I know a lot of people will say, oh, that's unhealthy and you shouldn't do that. But do you know, he had snacks when he wanted, he had food when he wanted, and he had a good diet. And when he found us, he wasn't in great shape. Because um, I never went anywhere to buy Andy. Andy chose us, he chose our family, and he chose me. And um, <clears throat> and uh, he, yeah, he's very, very special. Very, very special. Excuse me how I'm talking, I've got a horrible word. Do you know, I have not... I, for quite a while, I have not cried like I have cried over losing Andy. And since being so upset and broken hearted about it, this horrible cold has sort of set in. And it's all around here and very congested. So apologies for all of that, how I'm sounding quite different as well. And there's some health things going on in the background, which I'm not quite ready to talk about yet, but we will be doing that on the channel. And that's been really affecting me lately too. But you know what? I wanted to do this clip just to kind of... Um, just to talk about what the uh, uh, like the aftermath of um, everything since finding out because it's happened so quickly. I mean, it was it was only actually um, about a week ago where I fed Andy his lunch on the Saturday. I'd come back from having I'd been out for lunch for my mum um, for Mother's Day, 
and uh, I came back, we came back from doing some grocery shopping as well, and Andy was outside waiting for his lunch, so I used to drop everything, run up there, and um, he was extra excited to see me. And he was doing his funny dance, and he would he was twirling in and out of uh, my feet, my legs, and uh, he was so pleased to see me. And I um, sorted his food out, and uh, he'd have his food, which he'd have, and then I'd give him snacks, and he'd as well. And um, I gave him like a little little stroke, a little um, like as as you do, as as I always done with Andy. And um, little did I know that would be the last time I seen him. And honestly, sometimes I'm, I'm certainly not composed with it. Um, I just, it's just crazy. I still will never understand what happened after that time I seen him. And yeah, it's just devastated, absolutely devastated. And, um, it was strange. I had a really weird sensation that by the Sunday morning, um, Andy wasn't, he, he didn't have a breakfast. And you know what? I was really worried straight away. And I cut hair um, just as an interest. And I was kept my father's hair. Um, we've got like a place in the garden. And every time I cut hair, Andy is with me around my feet. And he's near enough sat on my feet. Um, and he's there always. Usually for a treat and um, some time with him. And, um, and he was a small soul, but he was a big, a big cat for a small soul. And, uh, he was always there. Beautiful, beautiful, uh, soul in, uh, loving to pieces. And he was always there. So I knew that it was the first time ever I was cutting hair and Andy wasn't there. So something was strange. And then of course he, he didn't turn up for sort of for his lunch or in the evening. He just wasn't around. The garden didn't have any soul without Andy in it. Um, um, I, as I say, I live in the family home. My father has got a very large garden of all different areas, and it's absolutely beautiful. And Andy would always be in. There's a place everywhere for him, and there's several beds in the garden and everything for him as well. Um, and it just wasn't there. So Monday kind of came around. Monday morning came around, and I'm starting to get more and more weary by this point. And um, my mum is as well because it was my mum and me. What would we were mainly he. Um, People understand that chosen people in a family who they kind of air, t air to and who they adopt as their people, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, and if my mum wasn't feeding her or looking after him, um, it was me. Um, and I'd had a hospital appointment on Thursday, so we got right to Thursday. And at this point, I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm looking online, what's happening? And um, and it says that and it, there's so many horror stories to read and at this point I'm quite frantic in the back of my mind what's happening and I read something that actually that um, <clears throat> excuse me I read something that um, that actually most cats who are missing are not far from home and at this point and my faith is everything to me and my guidance in life a, a lot and it's got me through a lot of difficult things and the Lord's got me through some real difficult things and strangely enough, and well, not strangely enough, but in my prayers, I, would, I was always asking for Andy to return back safely and to give him guidance and to bring him back and to watch over him. Um, and do you know what? Just in that moment, it was almost like that the Lord gave me that instruction, that intuition to make the call to local vets, who strangely enough was the same vets which looked after my Alaskan Molly mold several years prior. And I'd called um, when I'd come back from the hospital. And I didn't have some great news and things. It wasn't a particularly great appointment. Um, again, we'll cover that at a different stage. And I was feeling really quite flat and down. But just beside myself, really, where on earth was my Andy? Where was my boy to? And, yeah. So I called. I called the local vets. And uh, it was a very lovely lady on the phone. And I said that... Um, I, I went through my Andy. And um, I said what he looked like. And in his different routine, you know, you go into automatic sort of animal parent mode. And I was running through our routine and then all of a sudden, which I'm not particularly keen on, she she said, oh yes, we'd had him, we had him brought in. And then she quickly said, unfortunately he was brought in deceased. And I just, just then it was almost like stabbed me, to be quite honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can imagine. I, uh, yeah, I was, I was in tears, absolutely in tears. 
it's a part of my life, an anti to my life, where we'd not long lost uh, my last year Malamut, um, my sabre, um, well, my mum and dad's sabre, it was like a fur brother to me, and then Andy came into our life, and um, and losing my, my nan around this time as well, it was, it was my absolute world, and um, Andy was there, and kind of, I suppose you could say, um, that little ray of sunshine, always in a difficult time, and working from home, it was a difficult time going on, Andy would be there, out in the garden, if I had a break, I'd take a few moments with him, feed him, stroke him, and we built such a, a, a that beautiful bond, um, he was everything, is everything, um, and yeah, and then I, I just heard this, um, so I think, to be quite honest with you, on that Sunday when he didn't come for breakfast, I think something happened at night, and I'd learned that he'd had a, um, he'd been involved in a car accident, um, an accident with a car, so a, a collision, um, which I just cannot bear to think of, and I asked, I wanted to see him, bear in mind this was a Thursday, and the, um, veterinary nurse said that she'd brought him in the weekend, so literally it had got to Thursday already, um, so, um, at this point, I'm thinking, what nurse happened? What's gone, gone wrong? And I wanted to see him. They advised me, because of his injuries, not to see him. And sure enough, I just couldn't... And I mean, I, I don't think I've cried for, for a long time. I'm, I'll be honest, it was just inconsolable. I and mean, I'm still having moments like that. It's not been a week, so... Um, yeah. And... Um, I didn't want to know anything, you know, I, I decided to share this with somebody, um, at work on a Friday. I'll be honest, I was absolutely, um, and I truly believe that everybody is going through something and always to, to show that consideration, show that, that thought, that empathy to, that somebody is always going through something and you never know. And you know what, I decided to share that with somebody who I thought would understand and that person was so and this was a colleague and was so cold and you know so immediately disrespectful um I just thought wow I could never ever ever be that way with anybody so it, at this point it's almost like and it's that shock it still is now and you know I will be looking at where Andy usually is, or where he usually was, or what he was usually doing, or asleep, and it's just crazy, absolutely crazy, um, I mean, my family, we've known some tragedy, and we've known, sadly, um, and we've known some real, real heartbreak through animals, family members, and I know everybody goes through something, um, and the Lord has blessed me with an incredible family, um, and he's always got me through it. And I'm a, I'm a fond believer that these storms do pass and there is always light, even in the darkest of times. I'm telling myself now that my nan is my absolute world and she is in heaven up above and she washes over, watches over me and she's with me always. And in my prayers now, um, I say that Andy, because my nan um, had uh, a beautiful cat called Timmy who she lost, who was very ill. Um, around the same time as my grandfather died. So I like to think she's looking after him in heaven, and now I, I say to the Lord that please love him, look after him, and, and guide him, and if you can, Lord, please uh, show him the way to my nan, and she'll look after him for me. Um, and that gives me peace. It gives me peace. Um, a little bit. But it does give me peace. I'm certainly not content, I don't think, I don't even know the words. Um... Anything you love in this world, um, and I think if uh, particularly, I think just any loss. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying. I'm usually a person of many words, but do you know what? Um, I'm not trying to say, and I'm trying to be respectful about it. But but do you know what? How that beautiful little soul, that Andy, my Andy, um, 
well, that person of my work was really quite rude. Um, he meant um, was equal and more than some people, if you know what I mean, how they go on in this life and how they conduct themselves and how they speak. And do you know what? It was just, he was everything. And it's just, just how things happen. Um, and do you know what Andy teaches us? That, um, that that is how precious this life is. That none of us know, none of us know when it's going to come to an end. None of us know, we can all plan for next week, next year, next Christmas or next birthday or next summer. But actually, the true reality of it is, we all see what goes on in the world around us and we hear of the wars and things going on in the world at the moment. And let's be honest, there's a lot of sadness in this world at the moment. And you know what, through the loss of my Andy, it really does hit home to me that actually this life is so, so precious and that that's how quickly things can change for us all. We hear of young children being hurt in the stabbings here at the UK in the moment. And it's just the world we live in, how troubled it is, how fallen it is. And it's, and it's, it truly is heartbreaking. It truly is heartbreaking. I think to myself, do you know what? And I keep thinking, wow, if only I would have took a little bit longer with your lunch and perhaps if I'd have spent a little bit more of a second sort of playing with you and perhaps that car would have had the time to have gone on and you wouldn't have been hit by that car. And I know life doesn't work like that. I know it doesn't. Um, crazy. Absolutely crazy. It really, really is crazy. So what I'm telling myself at the moment is that Andy's with Nan, and Nan's going to look after him for me now. I don't know a lot of people would have, and sadly I'm not going to be the last, felt that loss with a loved uh, animal family member because they do become a family member and they take place in your heart and they always will be um and that loss that's it's a genuine loss they're a loved one and whether that be a human loved one or an animal loved one um yeah for the different health issues i've dealt with through losing nan and different problems in one thing and another. And he's been there. That blue, grey, soft, fluffy fur and that wonderful face which always seems to bring me out of even the most difficult time or unhappy or problem or issue. Yeah. So now, hmm, I'm just gonna take a sip of water. Forgive me, I hate doing this on my channel, but forgive me. So now, um, I have, I've had it arranged with the, with the vets, and they're really very nice. Um, and this Sunday just gone, Mum and I took Andy's bed where he used to spend so much time lying out, sprawled out, um, which is like a white fluffy bed I bought him for Christmas. Um, so he's got that now, and he will be making his last uh, journey, because um, I'm having him cremated, um, and I'm having his ashes back. Um, and I don't know whether or not I will hold on to them, or I will wait for the summer in a bright blue sky, um, and an area where he loved in the garden, perhaps scatter it with a slight breeze. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to hold on to them. I think I do, I'll be honest. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel at the moment either. Um, devastated, to be quite honest with you. Devast I do. Dev devastated. Heartbroken. Um, but of course, would still... I'm not going to say move forward, but we still, time doesn't stop, does it? We still have to move, um, time, time still continues, doesn't it? So you have to, uh, you have to walk along in life, don't you? You have to, you have to move, uh, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to say it. Um, 
But yeah, but my my faith is a huge guidance. It really, really is. And I know in about a week's time then, um, I'm informed by the vets that they will let me know and I will collect um, my Andy. Um, and I'll make a decision then of what will um, happen. But I think I already know in my mind. Um, but my faith is a real uh, strength at this time. It really is. And throughout anything in my life, at the moment, I do truly believe that, honestly, I don't know how the Lord blessed me of such an incredible parents and family and my dear Nan as much as he did. I don't know. I never understand how I was blessed with that. Um, and I'm truly blessed that I had all those wonderful times and those wonderful memories of my wonderful Andy in my life. Now, I've been blessed with two wonderful animal uh, members of my family and in my heart. My, uh, my Sabre um, and my Andy. And, um, yeah, and I think that, and, and with health as well, I don't mind sharing, I've been having seizures for quite a, for quite a while, um, and having some problems there, and anybody will know, um, you can feel quite drained and quite wiped with seizures, and uh, I've been having a bit of blankness and a bit of absent-mindedness and problems like that afterwards for a couple of days, so it's been difficult, um, and I've had a few instances of that, so that's kind of why I'm feeling a bit strange as well, uh, at, at the moment and um but you get back up from this and i will get back up from this as well and andy will always be here with me in my heart he'll always be here as much as my nan is up above and and joe's getting busy up there with family in my heart now but they're they're, they're always there until one day we'll all be together again um i got a i got a life to lead and i've got goodness to spread and to make and to to add and to help this world we live in um and i pray in my prayers every night that um, I ask the Lord to help me glorify him in all I do and to help me take all the love he pours into me and to pour into this life and um, and to make change and to to help me from the chains which bound us in this life sometimes of different feelings which we can all feel from different situations. Um, for example, when I first found out that Andy had been killed, I really did the anger I felt um, and that fury which isn't me and then I would kind of think about it and early hours in the morning I'd think about it a bit more and then I, I wouldn't there's no justification at all um, but I'd like to think that in this world that there is not many people out there who would set out to harm a living creature in that way, any living soul or creature in that way. Um, and then you think about it a bit more, and you think, well, it certainly wouldn't have happened in the daytime, and then could it have been a tragic accident at night? And then I think about how that person may feel. Um, and yeah, there's no goodness which comes from adding to a fallen world, which we live in. Of course, I'm not there yet on that, but um, you set out to do good, don't you, and to make change, and um, that relationship with the Lord above and Jesus really, really is my guiding strength, and my amazing mum, and my amazing dad, and my dear nan up above. Um, yeah, so I am truly blessed in this life. I certainly, certainly am. Um, I was certainly blessed to have Andy and always will have those wonderful memories and that, that, uh, of my beautiful soul Andy. So a lot of people think, why have you gone into all that detail? Well, because my channel has always been a, a guidance to me, um, and like a virtual, uh, sort of diary for me. And I'm not feeling great at the moment. And you know, there's lots going on, but everybody goes through something, but it's not how you fall down. It's how you get back up. And I will get back up. Um, I was going to take a break from the channel. I may take a small break from the channel, but I will go again. I think I've got some family members at the moment with everything that's been going on. Really, really worried and bless them. I understand that. And I'm, and I'm hugely grateful and thankful for that. Um, but I will come back. So thank you very, very much for being there. Thank you for your amazing comments I've had recently. And uh, it really does truly mean the world. Um, and on that note, thank you very much for being here. So until next time, God bless and take great care. And I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.